Kickback set. Kickback what a kickback set. Adios, that's better work. What a kickback set. Kickback what a kick. Hey y'all, it's your girl Ashley back with another video, and I'm kind of I'm kind of just gonna show you guys like. Damn, Ben. Bro, don't don't. don't. <laughs> hey guys, it's BG, and I'm back with another video. And I'm kind of just going to let you guys in on what I go through as a quote-unquote hairstylist. Um, so right now I'm actually bleaching a wig. This wig is from Baby Hair. Somebody purchased this wig. And I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of other things. Let me go, let me show y'all what my table is looking like right now. Because this today is Thursday. Tomorrow I have two appointments. Saturday I have six appointments from... So I'll be working from 7 a.m. in the morning to 11 p.m. You know, this is my way of making money. I gotta provide for my son. Y'all know. And your brother. Bombastic side eye. We got a baby hair wig. You feel me? Full to the tips. Bookie. <laughs> we'll, we'll never give you half of what you asking for. Got all these wigs right here. Um, as you guys know, I do like to extra prep my wigs, and when I extra prep my wigs, I make sure that, like, if you want curls, don't worry, it's gonna be ready, set, and then I'm gonna have you out in, like, less than an hour. We got another wig right here, also from Baby Hair, somebody purchased real raw wig, as I said, for the tips, always, we never lack. About to wash this right now, and... We have another wig, y'all. This wig just got dropped off today. This is the last video appointment. She's coming tomorrow. I'm kind of just going to keep you guys along like a part of my day. I think tomorrow I'm going to do my best to go to the gym. Yeah. If you guys are wondering, like, you know, where's Papa? Papa's not here right now due to the schedule. I will be having tomorrow. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to let you guys in on the people I'll be doing throughout the week. What I do as a hairstylist, my uh, a normal day in my shoes. Yeah, all of that. All of that. So, you guys go ahead and comment down below. I'm happy if you're watching. Well, sub. Welcome. It's your girl, Ashley. Please mind your business about my lashes. Okay, guys. So, as you know, I am doing my best to try to build a family business by the grace of God. So, my brother is really a huge help. So, it's like my way. My way of, like, making this happen. I definitely do need the help. And j he's such a big help to me with what I'm doing. So right now I'm trying to teach him how to wash off um, bleach off of a wig. Um, sometimes when I have clients, he'll like, you know, after I'm done, because I'll be on my feet. <laughs> after I'm done and I sit down, I kind of low key. I just, I collapse. I be done, like, I be tired. And he understands that, so he'll clean up for me. Sometimes he'll set up for me if, I'm, if I have an appointment really early um he'll organize my things for me my brother is a big help so right now i'm gonna use this time to let you guys in on what i teach him because eventually i do see god putting um you know all gas no brakes when it comes to baby hair we always got to start from somewhere though we got to show him the basis he got to understand and that's on that so it makes sense this is what this is for but it's easier to take it out if you rinse it off first this you just wanted to show is gonna let you know whether or not you have more in it. That's why it turned red because of the product, okay? So rinse it off first. Because if you don't rinse it off, it's gonna cause the wig to be very, very dry. So you have to be very delicate as well, you see? Bombastic side eye. Oh well, you can rinse. I'll rinse that. But all right, y'all. So Ben, about to go ahead. He about to see if he. All right, let me stop. <laughs> he about to see if he remembers what I just taught him. So he gonna test put to the test. Go ahead, Ben. Okay, guys, so because we got the wigs washed, and now because we don't have a real hair dryer, we gotta wing it. You feel me? How do we wing it? 
cut like this. Watch out. I actually like that y'all can see the behind the scenes work of baby hair being built because when it gets to where it's going, it's gonna be so much more, you know, appreciated because y'all see where we started from. Y'all see where we coming from. So we're gonna grab our, flat, our, our fan, put it right here. And this is gonna help dry our wigs faster, give me enough time to customize before I go to sleep. And yeah. And then place that on there. Squeeze it. You gotta squeeze it hard, bro. I know you're stronger than that. Heck. So this should take about this should take about 30 minutes to dry, maybe less. But 30 minutes to an hour, it'll be completely dry. And after doing so, I'm gonna go ahead and customize it. This is the last minute wig I just got today, and her appointment is tomorrow. So tonight I'll be flat. <coughs> tomorrow I'll be flat ironing. <laughs> Sorry. What about husbands watching? Tomorrow I'll be what? Tomorrow I'll be flat ironing. I mean today, tonight, I'll be flat ironing and molding it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a middle part wig. So y'all gonna be able to see that too. And yeah, so I'm gonna catch you guys on the flip side. I don't know how to play with me. Bye. Oh! Hey y'all, so I already started with my appointment for today. I just had the first girl leave, as you can see right here. I'm a big advocate for like prom nights, so I do my best to try to like get as much people as I can, make them look nice in a timely manner, things like that. So y'all will just sort of see a time-lapse version of what I'm gonna go through today. Keep in mind, I already went through one client. So um, y'all let me know how I do throughout the rest. Hey guys, so I finally finished doing the heads that I had to do today. So what happened was that um, I started at seven o'clock in the morning. And when I started, I, because of the way I prep, it's like, I really, ha I barely have to do anything. I barely got to touch, I don't got to touch the flat iron when I prep. I don't have to touch a curling iron when I prep. Like I, I do all what's up guys so it is currently what like seven it's seven of one to be exact and i managed to finish my appointment early um i was supposed to like if you look at my schedule i was supposed to be working from 7 a.m to like 11 p.m but due to how i prep my due to how i prep ways when i have appointments um I make sure I don't have to touch curling iron. I don't have to touch the, 
the flat iron, all of that stuff, it worked in my benefit and it allowed me to be able to not only finish early, but still have the day to myself. So right now I'm actually heading, I'm going to be heading to Port St. Lucie because of course Josiah was not here. Reason being was because, don't honk at me. Reason being was because um, when he's here, like, be very patient until he not no more. So when he not patient, keep in mind, I still breastfeed. Like he will climb on my client to climb up to me. So it's like to avoid all of that and just for him to have the attention that he needs. Um, I brought him over there because I was really afraid like I will be working all day by the grace of the Lord by jesus christ himself the strength i had today to finish the way i did i ended up like when once i finished like my first girl i'm like okay i started getting into the groove and i just started boom 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 can you come early can you come early everybody was able to come early i really if i really was doing this for the money i would have told more people to come but it's like no i'm sorry i'm done so i'm heading to port st lucy right now and yeah that's about it with um, a day in my life as a hairstylist um i yeah i gotta go make some i gotta go make a deposit from the um from what i made today and yeah y'all go ahead and comment down below what other videos i will be interested in which i want to see you know i do i don't you know i don't i don't cuss no more like i, I do my best not to cuss no more i don't do a lot I curse. I probably said like one word. Bro, Ben, stop. Don't embarrass you. <laughs> stop, bro. For real. You capping. I don't curse. Bro, Ben, I don't curse. So, ben, stop capping. For real. So you don't curse me to get mad? Okay, I might. One word might slip. Nope. Okay, like two. But no, don't know. Be for real. I Do I curse a lot? Do I? Do a little bit. A little bit. But no, no, no. How often do I get mad? Alright, you just saying that no, cause you trying to embarrass me. He's just trying to embarrass me, y'all. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't do things the same the, the way I used to. You feel me? So, with that being said, I would love if you guys would comment down some ideas, cause I do want to be more active with my channel now that I'm closing down my schedule for like certain days and school's closing. So I mean, I'll be able to be. Like, I'll be more free and stuff like that. If you really enjoyed this video, comment down below what else y'all want to see. If y'all want more, I appreciate you for even being here. If you watch, if you watch through the entire video, um, but yeah, we about to go ahead and we about to hit the road, fam. We already on the road. I gotta do me one. I gotta drive safely. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me and sticking with me. I'm gonna catch you on the flip side.